Okay, so now that we've been able to style our content properly and we've got a table that we that looks like we want it to look like, we're gonna go ahead and create some code here to make this thing actually interactive. We're gonna start slow and then we'll, we'll get a little bit more uh, complex as we move. So right now we have styles, we have a body, we have all kinds of content. We're gonna go ahead underneath our style and we're gonna add another tag. And this tag is gonna be called script. And this is where we're going to start putting our JavaScript code so that we can actually interact with the, uh, the user and start communicating with the user a little better. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to keep track of whose turn it is. That's going to be an important part of this. Uh, and in order to do that, we're going to create a function. A function is a little program. It's like a little bit of code that's going to do one particular thing. We can create a function by simply typing in function. We'll call this function start game. And this function is going to first tell us whose turn it is. So we're going to create a variable. And a variable is just a simple way for a computer to keep track of, uh, of some data or some information. We're going to create, since this is an HTML document, we're going to set a variable called document.turn. We'll set it equal to x. We'll let x go first. So now we know that it's x's turn. And, you know, if it's x's turn, it would be really nice to tell the user that. It would be really nice to tell the player whose turn it actually is. So what we're going to do here is we will now create a uh, another very another uh, function that's going to identify or tell the user some messages. In order to do that, we're going to give a place for those messages to show up. So I'm going to go down to the top or to the uh, bottom where I have my body, right under my heading, I'm going to create a tag called div. And I'm going to give that an ID. We'll call that message. And we'll say messages will go here. And I'll go ahead and save that. And if I come back over here and hit refresh, we can see we've got a little bit of text here that's going to say messages will go here. Um, we want a message to go there, though. So we're going to go ahead and create a function called set message. And this is going to deal with a variable called msg. So anytime we call this function or anytime we try to execute this function set message, we're going to run it or we're going to give it a ver or some data and that's going to become this variable msg. And what we're going to do here is we're going to type in document. So we're going to ask the document, hey document, give me the element that has the ID message. So document.gilElement by ID message. So this is going to return this tag down here. So this tag is displayed on the screen, but we can't really see where it says div, you know, but it represents this text here. We're going to now take that and we're going to set inner text equal to message. So what we're doing when we call this function is we're saying, hey, document, give me this element and then set its text equal to whatever I'm telling you to set it to. So when we start the game, we're going to say set message Uh, gets to start. So what we're doing now is we're set, we're telling the uh, the system or we're telling the JavaScript uh, parser here to say, all right, it's X gets to start now, and go ahead and put that, and we're going to call that set message function, which is going to find that uh, tag called message and set the text for that to whatever we passed in, which will be X gets to start. Now you'll notice we're using these little double quotes. And this is just representing that we're dealing with some kind of text. We've got some kind of text we want to uh, we want to show, we want to display, or we want to deal with, or we want to find. And this plus is just saying, you know what, we're going to take x and we're going to add that, or you know, document.turn, which is now x, and we're going to add that into this this uh, this text. So now we're going to need to add one more thing before this will work. In body, we're going to add a event, and that event is going to be on load. And what this is going to do is when the page loads, we're going to call a function. And our function is going to be start game. So now if I save this, we'll go ahead and hit uh, file, save, and we refresh the page. Now we get a message here that says x gets to start instead of messages will go here. Because as soon as this page loads, it calls the start game function. The start game function sets a variable called document.turn to x, and then we run set message where it's saying get or x gets to start and then in set message we're finding this tag and we're setting its value to x gets to start 
So we've got a little bit of code now that's doing a little bit here, but in the next lesson we'll add some code so that we can actually start uh, interacting with the, uh, the screen.